lock cylinders. So, must be the biggest question I get over on Instagram, um, just from my posts, making people aware that you really ought to change your locks. Um, so, a bit of backstory, um, and it's not something I've ever had, um, but it's something I believe in. When we bought a new build, the locks on the house we bought, or both of them, weren't adequate. They weren't even one star. So they're not protecting against anti-snap, they're not protecting against anti-pick, and they're not protecting against anti-bump and, and all the other uh, stuff that better quality locks would at least reduce the risk of. Um, so people are unsure why you would do it, why you should do it. Um, and how you do it. And it, honestly, it's the easiest thing you could do in your house. It's very easy to mess it up though. Um, so it's key that you use the right screwdriver. It's one screw. Sometimes you do have to take your handle off, um, but mine, you don't um, on these French doors. So I'll show you through why you would change them and uh, how you go about it. So. Let's spin the camera around and show you what to do. What I've done is I've changed the lock from the Ultium back to the original. Now this lock is nothing special at all. It is simply um, one star and what can happen is, now I've changed the handle as well. So this handle is a two star handle, meaning it's hard to snap. Now the original handles, which are like uh, probably more square, you can snap the bottom of them off with some mole grips. Now, what that allows to happen is that it reveals more of this lock cylinder. Now, the lock cylinder, once you remove the handle, you can snap off. Now, when I take this out, I'll show you. And in fact, I'll insert a video now I did a while ago of what happens when you do snap one. Um, so when you do snap it, the locking mechanism that actually locks the door, now this isn't locked, but would prevent you from pulling the handle down, is completely loose and released. And it, you have zero method of locking the door once that's snapped, meaning people can get in, they can steal your car. Um, so what you want to do is replace this for a three star lock. Now. That doesn't have the correct size in it and there's one on order. So um, yeah, I'll get that done. But what I want to do is show you how easy it is to remove this and replace it with a newer one. So first of all, what a good method is, what I like to do is measure it as it is now. Um, see where it's hanging out of the handle. So on the inside, I would measure that distance. Um, it looks to be about five mil to be fair there, maybe four mil. Um, but then we'll go outside and I'll show you that. So on the outside, as you can see, sticking out a long way. Now, you don't want that. You want it to be as minimal as possible. So I would measure that distance and deduct it from the length of the total of this door. So I'm pretty certain that's five mil uh, there. The other side might be a bit less. So we'll take this one out and show you what to do. Line it up with the nearest screw, which is this one, as you can see. That screw is what holds it in place. So undo that. I'm doing this one-handed just to show you how easy it is. And that's the screw out. So that's loosened this. So now you need to take your key. So I've got my key there. Pop that in and then you just need to turn it until it comes out. This is quite awkward, one-handed. There we go. And that's your key out. And that is your lock cylinder out. So to compare with what is in the door, is I've gone for an Ultian three-star lock. So this is anti-snap, anti-pick, anti-bump, um, and basically, you can tell the difference massively. 
So, as we saw earlier in the video, or a few seconds ago, we deducted the length from the handle, and then you know um, roughly what you need if you're using the same handles. Now, the measurement that you should take, and it does vary because I believe Yale locks uh, take into consideration this 10 mil. Now, Ultian, you measure from the center of that hole to the outside of your handle on the external side, and from the center of the hole to the internal side. And that gives you your measurement. So by measuring the old lock, as you can see, the total length is 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. So putting the center of the hole at the 50 millimeter mark, that'll tell me that this lock is a 50 inside and a 50 outside or 50 internal, 50 external. If you're going down the Yale route, which they're not bad locks, they've just got little dimples on them that make them hard to get in UPVC doors. But that would be a 45 external 10 and a 45 internal. Um, with the Yale, if we compare, so this is 100, remember. The actual required lock, the actual required lock is a 45 mil. So from the end to the center is 45 mil. And from the center to the end is 45 mil again. Um, and what that'll do is that'll make it as flush as possible. And that is the goal. With the handle, you want it as flush. You want the cylinder, sorry, as flush as possible to the handle. Don't go into the handle. If you can't get it as flush, then you want it to protrude two or three millimeters, which I'll show you our front door is that's what happens. So over on our front door, again, brand new door, but we've changed to an Ultian. On the inside, that's pretty flush. That's as, probably as best as you're gonna get it uh, with the bit of a mill. But if you take it outside, it's as close as possible. Um, and that's actually three millimeters, which is better than take deducting another five millimeters off your length. Um, which would have it sat inside the handle. So yeah, that is as minimum as you can, I can get this door handle, as you can see, but on the inside, it's pretty perfect. So yeah. The handle, uh, the lock cylinder measured, and you've obviously gone and bought a new one and ordered it and had it delivered. Then you, it's now time to fit it back into its hole. And this one fits pretty good. So, fit it back in, shove the slot in. You need the key to wiggle that as that's your locking me mechanism. So you want that level and then find your center of hole. You can just see it passing through there to which then you'll get your screw back in there. Oh, we're not quite, right, there we go. I can just see that it don't come up on the camera very well. There you go. Take the screwdriver. This isn't the smallest one, um, so it's not the best, but you've got to be careful not to round that screw off or you've got no chance. And that, and that is your new lock cylinder in. So what we've done is we've deducted a bit off the inside, which has made it flush. But then on the outside, should I say, it's not as flush, but it's as flush as you're gonna get it due to not wanting it to sit within the handle. So what I'll do is I'll get a tape measure and uh, let's measure it from how you would do it from square one. What I find wow. useful to do this is really these tape measure set square so you can measure off of the handle and then your screwdriver so what we'll do is we'll measure this and uh, see where we're at so tape, tape measure center of the screw there to the end and as you can see 
45 and then that would be mirrored and this is where the set square comes in because of this lip you can just set it off there and measure it flat and really it is as simple as that the key is to measure from the hole to the internal side and the hole to the external side if your existing lock doesn't fit right what i would suggest is the the increments of the measurements are five millimeters so get it to the nearest five millimeter without going inside your handle. And, and that's as simple as it is. It takes minutes. Like I said earlier, sometimes you've got to take your handle off, um, but other, most of the time you don't. Um, I haven't with all our new doors, but if you've got a slightly older door, then you may have to take it off. But the key thing you're looking for is three stars. Um, I've gone for ulti and locks throughout. Um, that's not to say they're the best, but I think the quality of them are, are up there and they also give you a thousand pound guarantee. It's not an ad. Um, I, I bought these all. Uh, they were about 55 pound each. Um, so it does add up, but you can't really put a price on safety uh, or security. And what I'm not saying is by changing the locks, this will prevent your house getting broke into. What it will do is reduce the risk of an easy break in. Anyone could smash a window or something of the like, but breaking the lock currently is the easiest, quietest method to get into your house. Um, I mean, you can just search your other videos and see that um, how easy it is and how quiet it is. I, I believe Ultian do a video where 13 seconds and something like 30 odd decibels, which is minimal uh, noise for getting into someone's house. So um, yeah, it, it just removes that risk and allows you to concentrate on other elements of security as well to support that. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's one that's been asked for and one I've wanted to share for a long time. I've just not had the ability to do it just with the renovation works and everything. So drop me a comment below um, if you have any questions or head over to the Instagram account, which I'll uh, link below and uh, drop me a message on there and I'll hopefully be able to answer it the best I can. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it's helped and make sure you keep secure. Cheers.